people, and I don't even know if I should be happy or really, really concerned about his choices in life. But today, we're going to be watching that video together, so everybody, without further ado, sit down and get ready to get a tattoo of Leafy is Queer on your butthole. Let's play this shit. Pa 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 Play it! Yeah. I'll make sure your shit is clean. You know what I mean? I haven't had a tattoo in like over a year, so. I'm doing it for you, Lee, because I love you so much. I don't even know what to fucking say, dude. Because I want to criticize this guy and be like, "Why don't don't get the tattoo?" But at the same time, it's like he already got the fucking tattoo, and on top of that, it's of me. So how can I criticize him? I can't. It's like having a very close friend that likes to have sex with homeless people that are addicted to heroin, fucking sharing needles and shit. You go to him and you say, "Hey, look, dude, I don't think you should be having sex with homeless people. There could be a little bit of a health risk, okay? I'm just looking out for you." But yet he ignores your advice and continues to do it. However, when this motherfucker finally gets ultra AIDS, there's a little part of you that wants to go up to him and be like, hey dude, I don't want to say I told you so, but I fucking told you so. I mean, just fucking look at you. You got AIDS. Everybody, he has AIDS. <laughs> but you can't because he has AIDS. Like, I want to tell this guy not to do it, but I can't because he already did it. Gotta make it look a little bit more like a man. The cool dude. The Calvinator. A fucking Calvinator. Calvinator 6000. And that's how you do that. And that's it. That's the fucking video. He says he's doing a tattoo for me. He then calls me the Calvinator about five times. And then he applies a marking to himself that will last his entire fucking life unless he, like, burns it off or gets his leg chopped off. And the best part about it is I think he had some sort of second thoughts, like, halfway through the video. Like, the video starts off and he's in a good mood. But, like, halfway through the video, he starts having some second thoughts. Just listen to his voice halfway through the video. Fucking to be fair though, I'd be pretty fucking angry too if I got halfway through a tattoo and I realized that I was doing this just because of some fucking YouTuber. Cause I mean, halfway through, there's no going back. It's over, dude. You gotta finish it. I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do? You gonna scribble that shit out? But besides that, a ton of people have been linking me this video on Twitter. I don't know what it really is. It's some sort of music video, but apparently everybody wants me to watch it. So today, we're going to be watching that video together. So without further ado, pa 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 play it. What the fuck is this? Is this Inception 2 starring emo kids? Okay, so let's see, we got Closet Homosexual, Miss Queen of Daddy Issues, Token Black Kid aspiring to be a fucking vampire hunter, wearing a fucking dope hat, which- Hang on, wait a second. What is this kid wearing? Everybody in the group is wearing just like emo and goth clothes and he just shows up with a fucking black hoodie and jeans. We got this chick wearing her fucking grandma's clothes, but then we got this guy in the back that's hard to see which is very ironic, but he looks like some sort of mutationist creature disguised as a human life-sized fucking thumb. But last but not least, we have the main character of this anime, the one that's gonna save us all from the Mormon missionaries from knocking on our doors. We got our hero, John. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Jesus fucking Christ, you know, for a little split second, I actually thought, hey, this might actually not be horrible, and then this guy just starts the song by yelling, SHUT THE FUCK UP! You know, it's very fucking ironic that he's starting the song off with Shut the Fuck Up because that's exactly what I was thinking when the song started. Like, I just want to meet the person whose idea it was to start this entire song off with someone yelling, SHUT THE FUCK UP! Like, I just want to meet the person whose idea it was to do that and just ask them, Why did you do this? I swear to god, I'm gonna have a fucking seizure from this shit. You got a problem, bitch? Throw your hands up. It's you against me. This shit is one on one. This shit is one on one. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> what is he fucking doing? Like, John, did you really have to do that? Did you really have to just butt in and be like, I'm gonna point my fingers up to show that she's talking about one-on-one, -on -one, okay? There you go. See ya. <laughs> Let me get this straight. When it comes to Facebook, my popularity is endless. Is that really something you want to brag about? Being popular on fucking Facebook? Because to me, that sounds like the saddest thing alive. Uh, guys, I got a lot of people to accept me on Facebook. I'm gonna make a rap about this. A rap where I get my closet homosexual friend to yell, Shut the fuck up a million times. And I get my life-sized human fucking thumb to just run around in the background. Okay, this guy needs to fucking go, dude. I can tolerate the girl, but this guy is just... No. He is literally just yelling, Shut the fuck up! And also, what is he wearing? What the fuck is that jacket? It looks like an underwater jacket. You know, one of those ones that you're supposed to wear that heats you up underwater? <laughs> Okay, this guy can't even fucking see. Yo, I hate to admit it, but this guy actually isn't that bad. <laughs> like, he's not good, but he's not bad, dude. Like, compared to the first guy yelling, Shut the fuck up! This guy's not that bad. Oh my god, this guy, dude, nobody wants to hear you yell, SHUT THE FUCK UP! Okay, go away, please. And that's it, the video ends. Fucking brilliant, dude, Jesus Christ. I'm emotionally moved from how good that music video is. I mean, it's one of those things that really is gonna change my life. Next time I talk to one of my friends and he says something I disagree with, I'm just gonna throw him one of these. But in conclusion today, next time you go to school and the teacher assigns you homework, or if your mom tells you to do the dishes, or if your friend's being a twat, just throw them one of these. I mean, it's just a great way to express yourself. You know, next time you look at yourself in the mirror, just yell at yourself to shut the fuck up. It'll really help you out. I would bet my big toe that this guy is fucking gay. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, it's your lucky day. Because for every single person that leaves a like on this video, you will be receiving 50 trillion Lamborghinis. This is not a scam. They will be parked right outside your house in less than two seconds after you like this video. Go check yourself. I guarantee it. This is not a scam. But on a serious note though guys, thank you so much for all the support lately. I can't thank you guys enough and I hope you guys are having a great day today. But thanks guys and peace out. See ya.